Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> we wanted to give you a quick update where we're at this week. It is coming into mid-August now and some of the important things that we made progress on this past two weeks are our first layer fitting. So we machined the parts and pieces necessary to get our first layer of scoops together to finally test for the form and fit, the functionality, how it worked. We hit a little bit of a brick wall, so <clears throat> in the spirit of full disclosure, we are shifting gears from the plastic models that we thought we were going to be doing with the plastic scoops and the plastic gearing. The prices are just way, way, way too much. Unbelievable. Yeah. Like, can't so, even, like, we had no idea. We won't even talk about that. So <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> we are shifting gears. We have spent probably 30 hours redoing CAD work and CAM and getting all the toolpaths ready for the changes, shifting gears into full aluminum uh, wind turbines now. So we've reduced some of the sizes and height to help with weight on the gearing and things like that and we're making some of the diameters a little bit smaller in the central column now since they're going to be aluminum and not plastic but the bottom line is we are shifting gears and moving to a full metal <laughs> prototypes for the re you know we're still <laughs> so the end goal hasn't changed our right. goal is still that we are making 400 watt prototypes that can be used for gathering data with bucknell um, they're, they're, you know, we would be putting it up on a hard point on one of their buildings and that's part of the program with them. But we also, like the 400 watt is what we want out there for you guys. So this <coughs> is... Uh, Our first goal is to get... Stone. Oh, that's not a good um, analogy. No, we don't kill birds with our wind turbines. <laughs> no. okay. <laughs> but basically we need to produce like the first two units, one for Bucknell University, one for our purposes, where we can start testing, tweaking, making sure it is performing like we want it to. Then we will make another two or three turbines to start getting them out to some early test sites, things like that. But right. these first two... They're our template. They're our um, first vision into the whole unit put together, seeing how it operates, seeing how it performs. If we have any problems, this is where we do the tweaking. This is where we do the adjusting. And to all the trolls who said last year, why did you go and spend all the money doing this? You know, my God, you were... Making the shop. Yeah, what did you spend all that money? Just farm out the pieces and parts you need and you'll be done. Well, guys, I've said it 10 times and I'll say it an 11th time. <laughs> Prototyping is hard and you make changes on the fly, you realize something's not going to work. It would never work to be prototyping something complicated like Harmony in a vacuum where I have no manufacturing capabilities and we can't produce any parts here. Right. By us having this shop behind us, we have the ability to, to control 100% of what we do and how we make the parts, how we have to adjust, how we have to change. So this shop was 120% worth every penny that we paid to get it, to get it set up, to get it going. Because now we have the ability to shift gears just like this brick wall we hit with the plastics. Right. And now we're like, okay, fine, no big deal. We're gonna just make, make them ourselves. fully aluminum. <laughs> we get a few parts water jet and a few parts laser cut, and we literally CNC cut all the rest of the parts right here in shop. Right, so yes, in the spirit of full transparency, these are the things that we were up against the past couple weeks, trying to make decisions, good decisions about, uh, you know, the situation around us and what we have to work with. So um, I think all in all, it's a really exciting change in direction yeah. because I'm we actually can have happy these with it. ready pretty quick. We don't have to wait two months for the yeah. plastic ones we to have, be printed and sent to we us. We have quite <laughs> literally with, okay, yes, it took us an extra two days, three days to get the CAD and CAM ready on the all metal parts, the full metal prototype. <laughs> parts okay that's not a thing <laughs> but that two or three days is literally saving us more months. than two months, months in waiting for overseas right. orders and what right. happens if there's some embargo or whatever like there were a lot of things we couldn't control there right. we were literally rolling the dice and be like okay two months and it was a crazy number like over thirty thousand dollars for just enough parts for two units it was yeah. insane yeah. it was untenable so Anyway, enough of that. We're yep, going with. We're excited. I won't do it this time. I almost did the full, full metal. metal. Prototypes. Prototypes. Anyway, all right, guys, enough on that. Okay. <laughs> so we set up another area in the shop. We kind of made the welding area smaller. We didn't need it as big as it was. And we've carved out a safe area now that's kind of walled off from the rest of the welding area and we've allowed a spot now where we can do finishing of our metal parts 
and you know put any finishes to help rust proof them and things like that for our metal parts that we're making as well as a 3d printing area mm -hmm. that 3d printing area is going to allow us to make the parts for bucknell and penn state university for the small wind tunnel and water um, water tank testing that they're going to be doing with their small models and maybe the, even well what matters like what might be interesting to you is that uh, if we're <coughs> making these miniature 3d printed models maybe our community would enjoy having some at their disposal so we may be uh, 3d printing for you guys yeah and, it's uh, I, we're, we're not set on it yet ideas. but we're yeah. tossing some ideas yeah. around so if we have little tiny harmony turbines that we can produce just by hitting the print button on a 3d printer they wouldn't be functional it would yeah. just be you know well, no, your, they would they would paper spin. weight oh, oh oh yeah they would oh, wow, because okay. that's what bucknell and penn state are doing <laughs> with true. them they have to spin <laughs> okay huh? so well yeah so yeah <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're toying around with some ideas. We'll see, but, uh, and we'll get some shots of them as fun. we start producing them. But yeah, it's an idea, you know, yeah. along with as we get into the new apparel and start putting our new yeah. logo on shirts and things. We're getting there. Yeah, we want to <laughs> take care of the important stuff that makes you, our followers, our investors happy that we're making the progress. And then we'll work on the peripheral things. The proofy things. But <laughs> yeah, the, the little turbines <laughs> might be a cute little addition to the to our storefront as yeah. we have apparel and and some other things yeah you so. would like that right yeah that'd be fun <laughs> i want a little harmony on my desk i know <laughs> <laughs> so okay we'll show some shots of that new area so this is our new area that we've kind of got a little bit of stuff in it but it's going to be closed off from the welding area we already had these screens built last year so we can do our 3D printing and any finishing of metal parts in this area. It'll be protected and it's quite large. So I think it'll work well. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Just it's, have to uh, clean it up a little bit. <laughs> it's a nice big area. It looks a little bit, it's hard to see it here in the footage, but it's actually quite large. I want to say 10 feet by 12 feet or 10 feet by 14 feet. It's pretty big and that table is huge. So it'll work well. Clean Energy Crusaders, you want to talk about that? Yeah, so we had, uh, actually we had two different outreach opportunities the past couple weeks. Uh, one was with the Clean Energy Crusaders. It's a youth summer camp uh, that they did a couple weeks ago and they invited us to be a part of that program. And so we went uh, out to Reading and we taught teenagers about clean energy and about wind turbines and we taught them about the special things about harmony and they even created their own Harmony Turbine. So we'll include a little bit of footage here in the video um, to show you. It was a lot of fun. These kids were great. Um, we also worked with the YMCA Rocky Creek Camp. They came here for a tour and uh, we had a really fun time uh, educating them and introducing them to the, the whole idea of clean energy. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yes. So thank you to those two groups and for helping us with our outreach goals that we have. So one of the other things we've been working on the past few weeks, uh, as we've mentioned before, is uh, the crowdfunding campaign that uh, we want to have launching pretty soon. So I, over the past couple videos, we've mentioned it and we've set some target deadlines for when we thought we would have it open. And we kept saying maybe four to eight weeks and we, we keep saying that through the videos. And um, out of the spirit of transparency, we're really busy. There's a lot of moving parts to everything that we're trying to do and getting the, the new campaign open is unbelievably crazy. There's a lot of complexity to it. So we are still working on it, but we do have a hard deadline for getting that open. Uh, we want to have it open before October uh, because if we were to win uh, or be mentioned in the Pepperdine University competition that we've mentioned before, um, they would the most fundable companies. The most fundable companies. Um, they would publish us in the entrepreneurial magazine in October. So we um, would need. We would like to have our campaign open by then, just in case we happen to uh, be mentioned in that magazine. It would be a great opportunity. Um, so that is our really our hard yeah. deadline. <laughs> we want to have those two events coincide. So, if right, by chance we case. would be selected as one of the top 10 companies in there right. it'd be really horrible to not have our campaign right. running that when that so hits <laughs> when it hits the presses and everyone's yeah. calling us how do i invest right, in you we're, like, we're going uh so, so we are working on it we are working on our script for that so yep. um, that is just one of the many things we've uh, been up to over the past few weeks and we'll continue doing so stay tuned we will uh, as we come up with a hard open date we will have be publishing that in our videos yes. in the newsletter 
And we will be reaching out to those of you who have emailed us and said, I want to be an early investor in this third funding round. I would like to invest in the third funding round. Please let me know when that happens. We will be yes. communicating as soon as we have a real true date. Mm -hmm. Obviously, our hard date here, our hard stop is prior to October. So you know it's getting close. We're working as quickly as we yeah. can to get yeah. that done. So we'll let you know as soon as we have a better date. But prior to October, <laughs> it's pretty much we can't move that. Right. <laughs> so, okay. All right. At this point, thank you to every one of you who follows us, who supports us, who has invested in us. Thank you to all of the wonderful people out there in our community. Yes, thank who you. Who helps encourage us and says, you know, you're moving in the right direction. This is how clean energy research and R&D should be conducted. We're a small little company. We're doing our best to get good technology out there. We're not in any way trying to hide or, uh, you know, people have mentioned, oh, this must be a scam because you don't have data. No, we don't have data because all the steps to get to the point where you have data are still upcoming. We're right. getting closer and closer and we're building the prototypes to get there. We're working with the universities to get there, but this stuff takes time mm -hmm. and it takes money, guys. It's not done in a vacuum overnight and suddenly poof, you have all this data. Right. So to all the trolls out there, sorry, <laughs> you're just mad because we don't have data yet, which in effect is a good problem if you think about it. So we're getting it, we're getting there, we're getting the models together, we're getting the CAD and CAM together, and it's happening. It's mm -hmm. just we're being transparent with the journey and taking you along with the journey. And sometimes journeys take a while. Yeah. <laughs> what do they say? It's not the, you know, it's not, it's the journey that matters, not the end when you finally get there. I don't know, there's some know. saying. <laughs> we'll have to look it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you for all of our supporters. Yes, thank you. For all you. the followers. You guys are amazing for yeah. believing in us and uh, being there for us and encouraging us. Yep, and if you can't support us through, um, you know, investing, we also do have our Patreon supporters out there. They give a, it's a, a donation to help support through our Patreon subscribers. They give a donation on a monthly basis. It can be anything from, you know, $1 to whatever you wanted, $100 if you were so inclined. And that monthly amount comes in through Patreon to help move us forward and help our work as well. So you don't have to do investments if you're in one of the countries that are not able to invest. There's a sum of those. Mm -hmm. Those options with like Patreon are still open to you for helping to support what we're doing and help just get us there a little bit sooner because it does take time and it does take money to get there. Right. So thank you. Okay. Thank you. And, and until next time. Yeah. Have a good week, guys. Bye-bye. Harmony Turbines. We now have the power to change the world.